Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter Try. Alright, today we're gonna fight another new monster. His name is Barioth. I think that's how you would say it. Barioth or Barioth. One of those. Um, this guy is very interesting. He's like a. If you've played Monster Hunter before, or uh, if you've played Unite, you would you would know of a monster named Nargakuga or a uh, Naruga Naruga Karuga, but most people call him Narga. He looks like a a black bat panther looking thing. He moves like a tigrix, but he moves so much worse than tigrix. I hate Narga so much. But this thing moves like him, except he is nowhere near as quick as Narga was. But uh, he hits a lot harder. But he, I don't. So far, he hasn't had an instant kill move. But uh, anyway, he's a. He looks like Narga or a Tigrix, except he has like huge barbs on his wings, and he's a saber-toothed tiger. Yeah, he's pretty interesting. I like this monster a lot. He's he's a lot better to deal with than Narga and Tigrix in my opinion. But uh the only weapon the only weapon I know how to use against a Narga like monster is a sword and shield and he's weak to fire. So I brought my uh Rathalos fire sword and shield. He is ice element, so fire uh, I think I've already said that. But, um, he should be, I think he starts in 6 and then goes to 7 sometimes, but sometimes he goes to uh, 2, sometimes he goes to 1. He, he, there's no telling where he goes, but I know for a fact he starts in 6. And if, you, if you caught it right there, he just flew away, but uh, he's going to 7 right now. That's where he stops in this one, luckily. I'm wearing the, the full great baggy armor bad guy armor because it's got ice ice resistance out the ass and I forgot what else I put in it so yeah let the battle begin that's that's Barry off he's pretty badass I've yet to cut his tail off though because I can't figure out how to I can't I just can't do it I haven't cut his tail off once I fought him like maybe seven or eight times I haven't cut his tail off once. It's really hard to cut tails off with a sword and shield. They're good at they're good at uh doing everything else except cutting off a tail. But he's low to the ground, so there's no excuse, but I was rushing on this video, so eh. I did really well against him in this video. I was really, really surprised at myself. I did exceptionally well. But uh sadly I couldn't do it in under a 10 minutes and 59 seconds it's two videos sorry guys but uh, uh I think it was uh, 15 minutes or 14 something like that it's close enough but this is this video is going to be about eight minutes long and then I'm going to switch to the other video so I don't have to edit a whole file or whatever I, I'm not even going to explain it but anyway, uh, yeah, you can damage his wings, you can cut his tail off, obviously, and you can break his his uh, fangs or his uh, canines. Is is that even right, calling them canines on a cat? But uh, I'm sure there's another word for it. But um, yeah, I do really, really well. What you want to do is keep circling until he does something like that and you can you can pretty much just watch the video I, I haven't fought him enough to actually give you a good clear time to attack but uh... what you want to always make sure to block his ice his ice bolt unless you're resistant to snow because that turns you into a snowman and he will hit you unless you're lucky and have cha-cha but uh when you see him floating like that circle him never stay still when you see him floating because he's about to he's about to fall on the ground and he does he when he falls on the ground he spins around and he holds out his arms and his tail and it it has a very wide range 
So uh, if you see him floating in the air, he's about to drop down. So watch your ass. Um, one of the his weakness is his face. I'm 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 only I'm only going by what Narga Narga Kuga and Tigrix's weaknesses are. Uh, I'm guessing he, either his wings. I don't know why his wings would be, but uh, I'm 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 pretty sure his face is the weakness, just like the other two. If it's not, then let me know, and I'll be I'll be happy because I hate getting in front of these kind of monsters. He's not so bad though. He's he's really 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 uh. Once you get once you get used to fighting him, he's really easy. But uh, he can he can catch you off guard and really really do some damage really really quickly if you're not prepared. Also, when uh, he switches areas, don't go in there. Don't go into the area immediately after him because if you do and he sees you he does this instant teleport attack or whatever and it's really really fast I'm, I'm not joking it's oh god it's so fast it's really gay but um that move really hurts I had to leave I had to sharpen and heal but uh yeah and I was so close to the and he and plus I think he's about to leave anyway. But uh yeah. It was about this time during this recording that my cat decided he wanted outside, so I had to stop it. But it's a it was a good stopping point anyway. Let's see. One of the sub quests is to break one of his wings. Which I I break both of his wings and his face, but uh, one of his subquests is to break one of his wings, and his other subquest is to pitfall trap him, which is which I do that too. Which there it is. I just broke one of his wings. When you break one of his wings, he stays down for a good a good solid three or four seconds, but usually. He always screamed. Uh, so far with me, he's always screamed when uh. See that? See the move when he's pissed off? That move spins around and does a lot of damage. A whole lot. All right, guys. He's fixing to put me to sleep. Or uh, no. I'm, He's fixing to leave, and a bad guy puts me to sleep because he's a total douchebag, and I end up falling asleep, I think. Yeah, there we go. Alright, uh, this is about the time I decided to get up and let my cat out because he was meowing. I'll see you guys in the conclusion of this video. Thanks for watching.